Hi everybody, welcome back. Today, I am going to be starting a little mini series on my channel called Would I Buy It Back? So I'm going to do this by brands and um, I've got a few brands obviously in my collection already whereby I you know, I want to share with you whether I will buy them again if I had to. So I'm going to start off with three Chanel bags today. Then I'm going to go into my LV bags, then my Hermes bags, and then whatever else I've left, you know, Celine, Gucci and all. So um, today's just going to be talking about three really popular bags. I, well, I think they're really popular. And yeah, I'm going to share whether I would buy them back again. And if I don't, um, I'll also share you uh, with you the reasons why. So I hope you guys are subscribed to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kat. I normally do luxury reviews and yeah, I like making this kind of like mini series um, because I, I guess a lot of you do ask me a question whether, well, you know, do I still like this bag or not? Um, yeah, so let's get to this video. So my Chanel Jumbo. This is my first ever Chanel handbag and I purchased this about five odd years ago and it still looks in freaking good condition because this is in um, black caviar with silver hardware. So caviar leather is a very very durable leather. This bag has seen, oh gosh, if you've been following for a long time you know, I bring this to travel, I bring this to work, it's been on conveyor belts, it's been under the seat of airplanes, It's it's been through Okay, not hell and back, but it's been through a lot with me and it's because of Caviar leather, it has it is really durable. And the silver is very shiny. The only thing I have is a little mark here, and that's my fault because I bumped the back against the wall. But yeah, if you see it, it just look it doesn't look like much. So would I buy this exact same bag again if I had to? I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I would not buy this exact bag again. Oh, when I first got my Chanel Jumbo, I wanted this size and this material uh, and this color because I wanted it firstly silver hardware is understated, caviar leather is durable and the size Jumbo because I want to fit a lot of things. So it's been more than 5 years since I had this bag and I still love it, you know I still love it. Um, but in the recent years, I haven't, well not recent years, but in the recent year or so, I haven't been re really, really, really reaching for it. Mainly because I have fallen in love with smooth leather bags. So, I don't know, it's, it has been a recent obsession. Ever since I got my toolbox, I have been so obsessed with that soft feeling with the bag. And the touch of caviar leather now doesn't really appeal to me. Like, I, I know it's really useful and I know that it is durable and all, but it just doesn't appeal to me anymore. I, when I touch this bag, it feels luxurious, but it just doesn't give me that lambskin feel. So that's one of the reasons why I would not buy this exact same configuration again. Um, if I had the chance and had the opportunity, I would actually swap this bag uh, to a lambskin bag. Silver hardware still because I don't. I'm, I'm not a big fan of gold hardware on such a big bag. I feel like it's a little bit loud and. Yeah, I, I still like silver hardware for such a big bag and lambskin definitely. So would I buy the same bag, I would get it in silver hardware lambskin and to be honest, I may not go for the jumbo. Um, just because I have other bigger bags in my collection, that's for one. And secondly, I don't. Tr I try not to bring so many things out with me lately. I try to bring the minimal like my two wallets, uh, my handphones, Headphones. I've got a wallet, my tissue, my keys, and all. I don't really need such a big bag um, right now. And also because when I travel, I carry a lot of things. I carry my backpack with my heavy computer, my you know rechargeable batteries, and I've got like I've got I carry the house every time I go out. And I've got my shoes for gym, and then I've got this big chunky bag along with me. So I find everything adds a little bit of weight. It's not that I don't like big bags, I just feel like if I had a chance, I would swap this to a smaller configuration in lambskin. So that's my really honest opinion, but that doesn't mean I don't love this bag. Okay, I still love it and I will still use it. It is still a holy grail bag in my collection. It, it's, it's my first Chanel bag, okay? It's like, I know if I were to sell this bag, it's really hard for me to get it back again. So expensive right now. But if I had the opportunity, if I were to pick again, like I had to, yeah, I had to pick again, 
um, I would change the configuration of this bag uh, to a slightly different one. So yeah, that's my honest opinion where I am right now. Next is my Chanel boy bag and this was purchased in Monte Carlo whew, in 2013 or was it 14? I can't really remember right now, but yeah, it's quite a while ago, four, four, four or five years ago. Um, so this bag is actually in lambskin. Oh, like I said earlier, I love lambskin. This, the feel of it is wonderful. This is in the vintage gold hardware, chunky and everything. And I know you guys don't see me uh, use this bag much, and yeah, it's because it's that gold hardware. So, come to the question, would I buy this exact bag again? I would. <laughs> so it is a little bit more opposite from my uh, jumbo bag because this is like loud but there is something so I don't know, so rugged about this bag the gold and this blue just stands out tremendously it looks so I don't know it just looks like a boy bag and then it's got lambskin blue lambskin and it feels it just it goes okay it feels so nice the size is perfect because this is the old medium size just enough for me to put enough things for me to bring out for the day the only thing is the only thing that I don't really like about the bag is if you can see and I've mentioned it in a few of my review videos that this cardboard um, the spine of this cardboard is not the best. Can you see? They've got some lines there. So I feel like the cardboard inside this bag, um, I don't know about the new boy bags. They should have been made a little bit better. They just It just flips a little bit too much. But I would buy this bag again. I love it. I feel like this is such a great size for me. Not very tall. I'm only 165 centimeters, so about 5 feet 4. And it goes with me so well. Look. I don't know there's something so cute about it so this is a bag that I will always love it goes with my style and I would definitely buy this bag again it just I love it so good size good material even though it's gold hardware the gold is not that yellow yellow gold it is that vintage gold it almost looks a little bit like faded and all but it's 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 still really really stunning so yes I would buy this bag in a heartbeat and the last bag today is the Chanel Gabrielle bag and this is in the size medium beige and black so this bag I bought it about a year plus ago and it's still really new in my collection and um, I have used this a lot okay many times throughout the year for work uh, for going out not so much going out during the weekends uh, mainly because of the size but I have been using it a lot for work and it was also the bag that I used to travel so um, the question is would i buy this bag again this is for me really tough because i'm a little bit torn when i ask this question even to myself like i like how the blood this medium size looks like I, when i look at it i like it i like how it looks i like the fact that it's a little bit larger so it sticks out a little bit on your body and and that allows me to put a little bit more things inside but at the same time because it is bigger i feel like Maybe for my size, I should go for a smaller bag. So actually, this is like a 50-50 question for me. Where I am, like where I am right now, I am using this bag for work. And between the Chanel Jumbo and the Chanel uh, Gabrielle bag, the Chanel Jumbo I prefer right now, where I am right now, I want it in that slightly smaller size. So this bag the jumbo the medium large to me carries a little bit more capacity than this bag in the small so that's the reason why even though i may not get this uh, same bag in the big like in the jumbo um, the small the medium small medium large does fit a little bit more than this medium uh, than this this bag in the small uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i just feel like this base at the bottom restricts the capacity of the bag you know it doesn't allow it's not so flexible like a norm like a bag like that that would make it you know fit what i need so the small bag it's like this size and i don't think it can fit the things that i need so which is like two phones two wallets and all that whereas this in the medium large can fit that so that's why i would prefer to get this land skin in the small size while for this i am torn like i know that this size 
um, the small would not suit my needs, though it will look really cute on me. But the medium fits everything, though I will not use it on a going out day. So I'm really 50-50. Like I really like this size. It looks great on me, so let me just put it on. So let me just put it like this. See? I like to carry it like that right now so that it looks more of a sling bag. It doesn't look so chunky monkey if I carry it like that. Though it looks okay right on the camera. But I like to carry it as a crossbody bag like this and um, bring it out. So this is really tough. Uh, even I, as I'm doing this video, I have thought about it and I am actually for the Chanel Gabrielle bag. It is really a 50-50 where I, whether I would buy it again in this size. There are days I'm like, definitely I'll buy it again. But it, there are days where I buy, oh man, there's too much space, you know, maybe I should get it in a smaller. Then that's like, I should get the smaller size. So I guess if you really like this bag, not as compared to the Jumbo, if you really like this bag, you really need to try it out in the store, put your things, your minimal things. And if you can get away with the smaller one, I would say go with the smaller one. Just because the big, unless you can pull off the big, uh, the bigger bag, the big can look a little bit overwhelming. That's, that's, that's my honest opinion. It can look like, for example, like this. It can look really big. So um, if you can get away with the small, like, sorry, the mini size, I would say go with the mini one. But if you think the mini one will be a bit too restrictive and you can get away you know, with this slightly larger one, then it's really up to preference already. Like go for the bigger one if you don't mind looking a little bit like, you know, it's, it's like overwhelming your size. And you know, the big bags are in. So let's, let's just take a comparison, okay? So I'm wearing this bag like this and it can kind of look cool, right? It can kind of look cool. So let's do that for the, I don't know how to do it for the jumbo. Let's try that with the jumbo. No, it doesn't look cool, right? It just doesn't look cool. <laughs> so the, let me get this out. So this bag that has a, it has a fashionable element to it. So for the Chanel Gabrielle bag, I'm really honestly at a 50-50 for this bag. like. I can't tell you that I would definitely want to buy this size again, but at the same time, I can't tell you that I will not buy this size again, just because it looks so good. This size looks so good as well. So <laughs> really tough, I know. Um, but I, for the other two bags, I am so sure. Like I am so sure if I had to buy them again, they will be either exactly the same bag or like the jumbo, I would change the configuration. But for this, I'm quite happy with the size. I'm like, it looks good, but there are days where I'm like, oh, I wish it was a little bit smaller. So if it's a, to me, it, for this bag, it's like a mood bag right now. It's like, I've got to have the mood to wear it. Even when I am, um, for my work day, it's a bag that I will just pick up and I'm like, okay, it makes my outfit, but I got to be in the mood for it. Because I am not a fashionable person day to day. Like this bag, when I carry it, I feel like it makes me the fashionable person. <laughs> It picks up my boring work clothes and on the weekend because I just recently used it over the weekend I felt cool. I felt cool. I carried it like oh, I carried it like a sling bag and I was like Cool. I feel cool. Though when I looked in the mirror sometimes it just it does look a little bit out of place but with the chains and the vibe and all that hair <laughs> I felt cool. I felt cool. So yeah, I'm at a 50-50 for this bag, but for the, the other two I'm definitely um, Loving the Chanel boy bag, the jumbo. I'm loving you. I'm still loving you. I'm talking the bag. I'm still loving you. But if I had to pick again, yeah, I might change the configuration. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat. Uh, would I buy it again? Uh, video till my next one. So my next uh, episode, my episode two, I'm gonna talk about my LV bags. I'm gonna pick a few of them, and then um, yeah, talk to you through the same thing. Hopefully, I wouldn't be so like 50/50. But if I'm just thinking over it. I know some of the bags I would change the configuration and some of that I would stay, stick with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you do, do give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like it. Uh, put some comments down below as well of how you want me to share, if you want me to change how I'm talking about it. And yeah, um, till my next one. You guys take care. <laughs> Bye.